Well, it's the first day of December 2022. Faith Pocatello Daily here. December. I hope you kids have those chocolate advent calendars out. Um, we're going to read a, a popular uh, verse today, and I'm hoping to give you a little bit of context um, to help us understand it a little more. Sometimes we we take scriptures and we, we personalize them. Um, not that they're not uh, for us, but they weren't necessarily written to us. So let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Now, we need to understand the context here. Does this um, transcend and apply to those who are his? Absolutely. We're his children. God does have a future and he has a plan for us. And we have a hope that we see in, in the sure return of Jesus Christ, but a hope that, that when we take our last breath, we will see him face to face. We have a hope that we share with other people. Um, but we need to understand that at this point in time, Israel was going into Babylonian captivity. And they were angry. They were frustrated. Now, some of it was because of their sin. Um, I get angry and frustrated by my sin. Um, and I'm like, how did I do this? You know, and here I am suffering the consequences. Uh, and so we see the, the, the Babylon here. And, and, and God tells them, you're going to be here for 70 years. Just so you know, you're going to be here for 70 years. So, so he kind of tells them, hey, build houses, set up shop and wait. After 70 years, I'm going to come rescue you. Um, and so then he says, I know the plans I have for you, you know, but, but this is the process. Um, so I want you to occupy in the land. Um, and, and then I will come visit you. And it's not a, a occupy then, but it's just giving us an exhortation. So when we look at it in our context, we are in a world that is, that is anti Jesus. It's not for Christ. And so we find ourselves in, um, almost a hostile environment um, and, and we feel sometimes maybe we're in captivity to the whims of the world, uh, especially if you watch a lot of news anyway. And so, uh, what we get to do though, is go, wait a second. God is, God is in control. He has plans for us. He, he is going to prosper us. How? Because he gives us a future and a hope. It doesn't mean that we're going to name it and claim it. We're going to have all the riches on earth that we want. Cause that those things perish, those things fade away, but he has given us every blessing in the heavenly places. In Jesus Christ. So as we are in Christ, we are abundantly blessed and we prosper in the Lord. And may that be our, our focus and our attention that we are in Christ, that we are prospering in the Lord and encourage others that there's a future and a hope. Do not rely upon the things of this world because these things are fading away. They're passing away. Um, Peter tells us they're going to be burned up. So, and, uh, and so I just want to encourage you today. God has a plan for you. He has given you his son in Christ. We have all the spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. What more prosperity could we want? But the sure assurance of forgiveness of sins and eternity that awaits us when our King comes to take us home. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.